Hi, this is Judy at Kais Inc. And today I'm setting up some social media quotes and I'm using Google Sheets along with InDesign and Data Merge. So in Google Sheets, here are my quotes and you just have to download them as a CSV file. And I wanted to show you in InDesign, I did set up uh, paragraph styles and I went to indents and spacing and checked balance ragged lines. Just makes them look a little nicer. So anyway, this is my template in InDesign. Uh, everything that you are seeing right now is on the parent page. And the only thing on page one is a text box. So what we have to do from here is go up to Windows, Utilities, Data Merge. And it gives you this window with instructions in case you uh, need a refresher. But we're just going to go up to this menu and we're going to select data source. Now that data source is the CSV file that you just downloaded. So we're going to grab that. And then what you need to do in InDesign is click in your text box. So get a cursor and then click on your text here that's showing in your data merge box. And that text is going to show up in your text box using the specs that you have in that text box. Now these carrots are hidden characters, so if we hit preview, you won't see them. And then you can scroll through your pages and see what each quote is going to look like on the page. And they're looking decent, so I'm just going to go up here and say create merged document. And then all of the settings here are what I need, I don't need to change anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And then it's going to give me some errors because I have some very, very long quotes here. And I'm going to have to work with them, make them make those pages, maybe the text a little bit smaller, tighter letting, whatever it is that I need to do. So it's just giving me uh, the page numbers that have text overflow. I'm just going to go through them one by one and take a look at them because this isn't that long of a document. If it was very long, you might take note of those pages. So once that's done, you can just export uh, the type of file that you want and you will have an individual file for each one of your pages. Go ahead and upload to social media. Thanks for watching.